All right, so let's have a little review of the backhoe here. Latest work by Dan, collaboration with Dark Mall, Cody here, doing a little bit of review. So the first thing that I see here is the mount for the the boom cylinder, so the cylinder that goes between here and there. This, um, what we want to do here, instead of the structure here where we're using the, the stock plates, is to use just a welded on plate uh, well, a plate, instead of these tubes, just do a plate, uh, possibly a double plate that is half inch thick, two of them welded together with a tab going up, because here we're using like two, four, five, ten, twelve pieces. What we want to do is just use a, a bolted on piece here with the tabs going vertically up. Uh, this is really complicated and this, unless you weld it here, it's not possible to attach these and also if you're using the half inch, the quarter inch tubing, if you attach them through the hole here, it's difficult to, to access that hole through the inside, so it makes it pretty difficult to build this. So just a simple plate on top with tabs, ears for the, the attachment of the bottom part of the cylinder. Okay, now here the cylinders for side to side swing are looking good. This one here, uh, this one, this blue one on this side, a little discrepancy here in the way it's drawn. Here it's drawn with the pin about a quarter inch off the edge. The actual, so it's about, it's, it appears less than a quarter inch off the edge. But the DXF file actually shows, I mean this is the pro proper mounting shown here, where that's the pin of that cylinder. It's actually half inch on a half inch plate and this quarter inch tube so really three quarter inches away from the the side of the tube here so that needs to be just moved out slightly and this still gets you 170 degrees of motion here uh, basically between that point and that point is 170 degrees if mounted as as this so that's that's the cylinder here as far as the legs, they're looking good. We're using our 36 inch cylinders because that's what we have in, in house. And we're using feet that make this whole structure about 90 inches wide total. But we need to add the feet to this. And regarding the quick attach, the Bobcat standard, I like the bolt on triple mount here that bolts on and these fingers slip on. Now we do want to have some kind of a stop on the side underneath so that the when you put the, the back hole on it doesn't move laterally side to side like this. So that would be a point to fix. And then here this should be mounted such that the hole, which is going to be, have to be bigger for the bottom pin, for the pin of the quick attach, which is that pin right there, uh, that hole has to be in a specific position which is I don't believe is considered in here. Other than that, this looks great. The quick attach plates here will be pretty much bolted on to the the quick attach of the the life track, and this this handle here is what lowers the pin. That's all looking good. So what else? Anything else uh, besides this? Besides the uh, mounting of the cylinder here, just kind of framing up on me here. Uh, so this mounting of the cylinder has to be changed a little bit. The mount of the cylinder here has to be firmed up uh, and as far as the mount to this this plate here we're gonna have a plate here with a bar coming out here where the the cylinder can mount and here we've addressed that already the detail needs to be drawn out here where we put on a, a one inch plate here and a tab that's probably gonna have to be one or two inches thick in order to sustain the large forces of the side to side turning and that's a quick review on October 11th.